Okay? That's what's going on. That's why you see the homicide rate in Oakland is sky high every year. I'm surprised there's still men walking around in the face in the city of Oakland. That many men die every year here in Oakland. It's ridiculous. Read that out. This is uh, John 18, verse 20. Jesus answered him, I speak, I speak openly to what, what are we doing? Speaking openly. Come on, read what Jesus Christ said. I speak openly to the world. Jesus Christ said, I speak openly to the world. He didn't do like he was in the churches. All right? Jesus Christ was out on the street talking with the poor and the rich. Come on. I ever taught in the synagogues. He ever taught in the synagogues. Come on. And in the temple. And he also went to the temple sometimes. Come on. Whether the Jews always, always resort. He always went where the Jews were. Christ did. Everywhere he went, he taught amongst the Jews. Okay, come on. And in the secret have I said nothing. In secret, we don't say nothing. We come out and tell you to your face. Very few pastors can come on the streets and do what we do. And give you an answer out the Bible. Very few pastors. Very few. They give it to you, but they don't They give it to you, not even understanding. And they can't even show it to you in the scriptures. That's the problem. We come out to tell you the truth, asking for no money. We tell you the truth. You can go research it yourself. Don't believe what we say. Go research it yourself. All right? Read that again. Jesus answered him, I speak openly to the world. I ever taught in the synagogues and in the temples, whether the Jews always resort. In the secret have I said nothing. In secret he has said nothing. Give me Luke 2, verse 49. Let me show you how Christ started. See, in this truth, you got to grow and grow. You ain't going to learn everything in one day. It takes years to learn the commandments. It's not just ten commandments. Y'all think it's just ten. Moses, you mean to tell me Moses went on top of the mountain for 40 days for ten commandments. But just ten? Moses went up there and got the understanding of the way the world was created to the way the end of the world was going to be destroyed. That's what Moses did. He got 613 laws from the Most High. 613. The whole first five books of the Bible are laws. Christ did away with just two of them. Two sections of the five laws. The sacrificial ones and the, and the uh, judgmental ones. Meaning if you see a homosexual walking up the street, you can't just kill him on the spot. That man has a chance to repent and change his ways. But the difference is they have to change. You can't repent and continue to be a homosexual like some of these homosexual churches. You have to change. God made, God made man to be a man and a woman to be a woman. Anything other than that is a reprobate mind. 14. I know where you're going. I know where you're going. Read that Luke 2 and 49. Luke 2 verse 49. And he said unto them, how is, how is it that ye sought me, which ye not that I must be without my father's business? So Christ and his father were two different entities. Christ said, I'm about my father's business. We think we're about. This is the Sabbath day. We're about our father's business. We're teaching the words of the Bible. Read on, right? And they understood not the sayings which I spake unto them. Right. And I went down with them and came to Nazareth and was subjected to them. But his mother kept all these sayings in, in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom. And Jesus increased in what? In wisdom. Jesus increased in what? In wisdom. So Jesus said he increased in wisdom. Come on, it's going to explain more. And stature and favor of God and man. So you get favor when you keep God's commandments. Give me uh, Psalms 1, 11, verse 10. Let me show you what the fear of God is. See, our people have never been taught this from a child on up. And you're never going to see us on TV. You're never going to see us on CNN. You're never going to see us on the news because we've been blackballed from all that. Why? Because we're teaching you the true words of the Bible. We're teaching you what Jesus Christ said, what God says. And we tell you, go research it for yourself. Come on. Give me that. This is Psalms 111, verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is what? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So I said Christ had wisdom, right? Come on. A good understanding of all that do his commandments. A good understanding is what? 
that do his commandments. That do his commandments. The outside of the ones you call Christ was doing the commandments. Come on, read that again, all right, clearly. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Wait a minute, so the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Our people don't fear God no more, that's the problem. You know what they fear? AKAs, Uzis. All right? They, they fear knives. They fear somebody looking angry at them. They fear spoon faces by their people. That's what our people fear today. They fear the police. They fear yeah. breaking uh, the red light, yeah. driving through the red light. They yeah. fear that, oh Everybody man, I'm gonna get a ticket. But that you don't fear right. God. This is his That's the problem. Y'all don't fear God no more. Regardless if she's Read that again. If you fear God, you, you wouldn't be killing one, yeah. one another, yeah. selling dope to one another. You wouldn't be lying right. to your parents. Yeah. All right? You wouldn't be yeah. cheating on your best friend's girlfriend. Yeah. You wouldn't be messing with her. If you feared the most high. It's separated, man. All right? Come on. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And God underst understanding have all that, that do his commandments. His praise endure forever. His praise endure forever. So this Bible ain't going nowhere. The Old Testament and New Testament are one together. Christ was in the old and he's in the new. All right? So we, we teach our people who they are according to the Bible. The 12 tribes of Israel. Our job is to come out and raise them up. Because the Bible says in the last days, the earth is going to end when the 12 tribes are sealed. 144,000 are going to be sealed before the earth ends. That's why all these wars are getting generated up. All right? You, what you hear right Right now in the news is rumors of oh, rumors. So when is it going to end? It's going to end when all the 12 tribes are sealed. 144,000. Read that, Isaiah 49 and 6. Isaiah 49 verse 6. And he said, it is the light for me that thou shalt be my servant to raise up the tribe of Jacob. The tribes of who? The tribe of Jacob. Now who are the tribes of Jacob? Jacob is the 12 tribes of Israel. Jacob was the forefather of the 12 tribes. Jacob from Jacob came Judah. Came Levi. Came Issachar. Came Zeb Zeb uh, Zebulon. All these different tribes. Jesus spoke out of the tribe of Judah. All right, read that again. And, and he said, it is the light thing that thou should be my servant to raise up the tribe of Jacob and to restore the, the preserve of Israel. That's what we're trying to do, raise up our people, man. Raise up our people and get the understanding of who they are. They're not Egyptologists, they're not Seventh-day uh, uh, Adventists, they're not Five Percenters, they're not Christians, they're Israelites, the Negroes, Latinos, and American Indians. That's who they are. They don't know who they are based on the history of the Bible. All right? Read that And he said, it is a light thing, it is a light thing, meaning you love to do this work, you know? that thou should be my servant to raise up the tribe of Jacob and to restore the preserve of Israel. Israel is going to be preserved and restored in the future. And it's happening right now. You can look all over the globe. Brothers are waking up to this truth. All right? I will also give thee for a life to the Gentile. A life to the who? To the Gentile. The Gentiles got to come to the Israelites. And the Israelites got to go to Christ. It's an order. Christ got to go to the Most High. Give me Hebrews 7 14. Our people got to wake up, man. When we wake up, come back to this Bible, you're all going to see something spectacular happen. That's when something spectacular is going to happen. Hebrews 7 and 14. All right? Our people, man, they don't want to listen to all the stuff going on in the world. They don't want to listen to the word. This word has been pumped all over the globe for at least over 100 years or more. Hebrews 7, verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord spring out of Judah. So Jacob, out of Jacob came Judah. Christ came out of the tribe of Judah. Really? For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. He came out of the line of Judah. When his fathers came out of the line of Judah. King David was a Judah. Right? Solomon was a Judah. Jesus Christ, the one in the world called Jesus Christ, is a Judah. Come on. For it is evident that our Lord spring out of Judah, of which the tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. Right. Moses spoke nothing concerning priesthood out of the tribe of Levi. Not his tribe of Judah. It was Levi before them. So we try to teach our people who they are. Let's find out what Christ looks like. Give me Revelation 1 and 13. 
See, our people don't even know what Christ looks like. They think Christ is a white man. They really, yeah, we got all these posters up here. Not one person really looked at these posters. All this literature we got laying in front with history, they can research themselves. It's sure you can see this man that's posing as Christ. That's not Jesus Christ. That they got planted all over the planet Earth. On every wall, every church, every cistern. All right? Read this. Let's find out what Christ looks like. Christ had a body and he had a spirit. So if Christ had a body and a spirit, what did he look like? point in time it doesn't matter and if you have any part of anything inside you that says I you know I'm glad he's, he's black you're not making it anywhere the first will be last the one that says you know what I don't want to be part of the perfect race I just want to be with God I just want to help everybody I just want to be strong and kind to one another I want to show mercy to everybody I don't care about any kind of bullshit any line that divides me from somebody else of being an equal is from the people. That's what it's mean, girt around the paps of his waist. Come on. With a golden girdle. With a what? With a golden girdle. What? His head and his hair were white like wool. So Christ had woolly hair that was white because it's gray now. Come on. As snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So now Christ's eyes are like a flame of fire. Come on. And his feet like unto fine brass. Now his feet like unto fine brass. When you look at brass, it's brown. It's brown. All right? Come on. As if they burn and they burn it. You ever take someone just put it in the furnace and watch it just burn up? That's what Christ looks like. Black. With woolly hair. And his father looked the same way. 
when you go right into the book of Daniel chapter 79. It tells you what his father looked like. But the point is, we're going to show you in 2 John verse 7. Go to 2 John verse 7. We're going to show you those are, they come up and tell us that Christ in the world too. That Christ is just invisible. They say Christ is invisible. That he didn't have nobody. That he don't have no feature. He don't have a look. Come on, man. Christ is on the earth. Just like George Washington was on the earth. Just like Abraham Lincoln was on the earth. We all know what they look like, but we all know what Christ look like. Come on. John, uh, second John, verse 7. For many deceivers, deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Jesus is come in the flesh. Many people confess that Jesus didn't come in the flesh. Come on. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. An antichrist. So if you don't believe that Christ was walking in the flesh, you're an antichrist. So that antichrist is a spirit. Anybody who don't keep the law, statutes, commandments, and believe in Christ, that's an antichrist. All right? Those are God haters. So we got to keep his feast days. All right? We got to keep his laws that he gave us. All right? The Levitical laws, the ceremonial laws, and the moral laws, James 2 and 8. We got to keep these laws in order to get an understanding of who we are. And it gets favor and mercy. And they get gifts from the Most High. When you read the book of Acts chapter 2, when they got those gifts, they had all one mind. They all believed in the Lord. They all kept the commandments. No, no, no. Hoy es un día bueno para empezar a hacer cambios, a hacer sanamente, a hacer ejercicio, a tomar medidas buenas para su salud. We don't believe Jesus is God, he's the son of God. He's the son of God. What do you believe? Okay, this is uh, Isaiah 9, verse 6. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And the government, who is that us? Son? For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. You say he's not God, I'm going to ask you a question. Why did you want to kill him? Because he was the son of God. Why did you want to Give me that Psalm J. No, hold on, just ask a question. They wanted to crucify him because they knew who he was. He was the son of God. They knew that. Of course he said that. We're all the sons of God. Then he say in that same speech, in the same chapter, he said, Isn't it not written that ye are gods? We're all gods. We're all gods when we come into the truth. Talking about not all the other nations, just the Israelites. Psalms 83. Everybody? Everybody? Everybody that comes to me. I know about the Jackson. Psalms 83. Let me Israelize right now. 82 or 6. All right, so 82 and 6. This is 82 verse 6. I said, ye are God. Wait a minute. Christ quoted the same thing. Read this again. I said, ye are gods. But listen closely. And all of you are the children of the Most High. Christ is called the Son of God. But you shall die like men. But we don't die like men. Why? Christ didn't die like a man, did he? Did he die like a man? No. Wait a minute. He said, you, you are gods, but you shall die like men. What does that mean? It means that Christ died like a man on earth. Wasn't he not hung on the cross? No, we know Christ is not dead. The thing is, the thing is, brother, you're missing the point. You're missing the point. Start the first verse. You say he died, but he's not dead. You just say he's not dead. Did he not get killed by the state? Did he not get killed? 
Did he not? Did they not put him to death? What the fuck? What happened three days later? He dropped the conclusion. Stick with the let's stick with the message at hand. If he died like a man. Right. Now Christ said, if we love him and keep his commandments, we will live forever, right? Okay. So when you die, are you dead or are you gonna live if you kept his commandments? If you die and you kept his commandments, are you going to live? When you live, hold this verse. No, no, let me show it to you. you I, I want to help you understand. Don't lose that verse. Huh? Go to Proverbs 7 and 2. No, 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 bro. I understand. You know, when we're out here on the streets, we're not trying to argue with you. We're trying to actually give you some edification. So we understand a lot of people come out of that conception saying that Jesus Christ is God. We know as Israelites that he is the son of God. But while he was on earth, did he not say, when you see me, don't you see my father? No, that's not what he said. He said, Thomas was asking me. He said, he said, show us the father. He said, I've been with you so long that you don't recognize Thank you. me. He was trying to be the father. He, was, he wasn't claiming to be the father. He said, you see me through my father. So what, what he meant let's, let's, let's play now. Proverbs 7 and 2. Read that. No, no. Read Proverbs 7 and 2. Go to Proverbs 7 and 2. Proverbs 7, verse 2. My son, keep my words and lay up my commandments with thee. Keep my commandments and live. So when we keep his commandments, we live. That's what Christ did. He was perfect. He kept his father's commandments. When you read John the first chapter, like I was telling Brother Ray, John the first chapter says, and the Word was with God. Who's that God? And the Word was God. Because when we come together... No, no. You got to understand. You know, we understand that Jesus is the Word, brother. But you got to understand. what does it say afterwards? You got to understand. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Read, read John. Go to John. We got to we gotta break this down slow if you got time so you can see. See, the, the Bible is not something you can give in a nutshell, man. So we're going to show it to you. Hopefully you can see what we bring it up. This, this is, this is uh, John 3, verse 33. We're going to bring all the scriptures. We're going to make sure you write this down. It says, He that have received his testimony have set to his seal that God is true. For he whom God have sent, sent, speak of the words of God. For God give not the Spirit by measure unto him. The Father loved the Son, and hath given all things into his hand. He that believe on the Son have everlasting life. And he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abide on him. It's claiming to be the Son here. Okay? Well, no, let's walk him through it. Right? So, what I want you to do, I can show him, go to John. I'm not, I'm not trying to debate with you. I'm basically trying to show you through the scriptures that, that Christ was the Son of God, but He's the Son of God. Just like we're sons of God. That's why Christ had to come on earth. When Christ came through the earth, who did He come out of? What tribe of Israel did He come out of? So, do you believe Jesus is starting existing when you no, see, you don't understand us. That's why I see you asking these questions. Christ had to come to the lineage of man, which was the 12 tribes of Israel. He was already here. The Old Testament, Christ was here the whole time. You think rescued the uh, children of Israel out of Egypt? Who, who you think rescued the children of Israel out of Egypt? Who was that person? Well, according to you, it was, it was, uh... It was Christ. Let's, let's go where I wanted you to go. Hold on, hold on. You're asking me questions. We're going to walk you through. First, give me Hosea. Uh, you just say, no, you no, just hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, you talk too much, Psalms 82, go to the first I talk too much, you up here with a mic, I'm not the one talking to you. Because you, you won't listen to what we're saying. I'm listening. Okay, now we're going to bring it out. Psalms 82, Psalms 82, verse 1, God standeth in the congregation of the mighty, God standeth in the congregation of the mighty, come on, judge of among the gods. So God judges from among the gods, okay? How long will you judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? Right. So the wicked are those who do not his will. The will of God is keeping the commandments. That's why in the same chapter, when you jump down to the sixth verse, because that's the first verse, 
defending the poor and the father. Oh, okay. I have said, ye are gods. Right, so Most High says that ye are gods. And all of you are the children of the Most High. So we are the children of the Most High as well. But the ones who are the gods are the ones who do the will of the Father. Come on. But you shall die like men. Well, because our forefathers broke the commandments, we're going to die like men. Our main forefather was Adam. He broke the command. Adam was a god on the earth. All right? But ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. Now Christ had to go through that too because this was in the Psalms, in the book of Psalms. So Christ wasn't going to change that order. He had to die like a man too for the, for the saving of Israel. Now go to uh, John chapter 1 and we're going to go to Genesis. Because he was in the book of Genesis. Do you believe that Christ is in the book of Genesis? Okay. So we, now we have an understanding on something. So read, first, read that, John. John 1 verse 1. In the beginning was the Word. In the beginning was the Word. Come on. And the Word was with God. And the Word was with oh, God. Okay. And the Word was? Let's look. We're going to bring it. So you have to understand Christ, that's his name. It's the Word. Right. Come on. And the Word was God. And the beginning was the Word. And the beginning was the Word. And the Word was God. And the Word was what? Was God. Was God? Come on. And the Word was God. And the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. The same was in the beginning with. With. Please be standing next to him. With him. Come on. All things were made by him. By who? By the Word, right? By the Word. All things were made by him, and with him was not anything made that was made. In him was life. In him was life. Well, we just read that, Proverbs 7 and 2. When we read, when we read Proverbs 7 and 2, didn't it say, keep my laws and live? What the laws is who? Christ. Right? He's the word. And the life was the light of men. And the light was the light of men. Now we can show you the same verse in the book of Psalms which tells you our commandments is a light. That's All right, so, so listen. Listen, we're not bad. I want you to get to understand. Just listen. Uh -huh. And the light in the face. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehend it not. So the darkness is on who? What what form of people? What people? Because we're dealing with the Bible from Genesis to Revelation and speaking of what people? Are you talking about little darkness? What you mean by that? No. Give me Hosea 4 and 6. Let me show you what the darkness is. The darkness, the darkness is real simple. 